students in this video lecture i'm going to discuss a theorem which is popularly called n3 n5 theorem now this particular theorem which is called n3 n5 theorem is a theorem which is used uh, to find out whether a given lattice l is modular or not and whether a given given lattice l is distributive or not so this theorem basically gives you a method to find out whether a given lattice L is modular or not, or it is distributive or not. Now, uh, we already know that uh, N5 uh, is the pentagon lattice. That is a lattice consisting of uh, five elements or five vertices and five edges like this. Five relations are there, one, two, three, four, five. So there are five uh, vertices or there are five elements in this lattice and uh, these are the uh, corresponding PO relations uh, or the relations in the uh, lattice, the relations between the vertices in the lattice or the elements in the lattice. So, and this lattice uh, is popularly called the pentagon lattice. So, we have referred to this lattice so many times in the earlier videos. Then uh, also we know that M3, M3 is the diamond lattice, popularly called the diamond lattice just because it resembles a diamond. So, this is the Lattice M3, again, uh, this lattice has been already referred to in the earlier video. So, this is how the lattice M3 looks. And in fact, uh, M3 lattice is the linear sum of 1 with the 3 bar. 1 means the chain of 1 element uh, with 3 bar, which is an anti-chain of 3 elements with 1. So, 1 uh, linear sum 3 bar linear sum 1 is M3, which is the diamond lattice. So, now uh, coming back to the uh, statement of the theorem. Uh, M3 and 5 theorem. Now the statement says uh, that uh, if L is any lattice, then uh, the lattice will be non-modular. If uh, the lattice L has, the lattice L will be non-modular if L has a sub-lattice isomorphic to N5. If inside L, when you draw the has diagram of L, when you draw the has diagram of L and inside uh, uh, the lattice L, you find uh, embedded uh, a sub-lattice uh, somewhere a sub lattice em is embedded which uh, looks like N5 or in other words we can say that L has a sub lattice isomorphic to N5 or in terms of hash diagram we are saying then if we draw the hash diagram for the lattice L and if you find that the uh, that the pentagon lattice N5 is embedded in, in L then uh, the lattice L is non-modular and this result is uh, if and only if which means that if the lattice L is non-modular then inside L Inside L, you will find a sub lattice uh, embedded, which is uh, similar to N5. So, if it is non modular, this will happen. And if uh, uh, this happens, that L has a uh, sub lattice embedded inside uh, it, uh, which is uh, uh, similar to N5, uh, then L will be non modular. So, both the ways the result is true. And then uh, uh, the second part of this result is uh, uh, about non distributive. Now, the lattice L. Uh, is called non-distributive. It will be non-distributive if uh, the result says if and only if. Again, this is uh, true both the ways. The converse part is also true. So, L is non-distributive if and only if. L has uh, either L should have, uh, I mean, uh, out of the two conditions, if one holds, uh, then L will be non-distributive. And what are the two conditions? That if L has a sub lattice isomorphic to N5, then L will be non-distributive or if L has a sub lattice isomorphic to M3, then L will be non-distributive, which means that if I draw the hash diagram for L and uh, on drawing the hash diagram for L, I find a structure uh, embedded inside L, uh, which is similar to N5, then in that case, L will be non-distributive or if I find a structure inside L, which is uh, embedded inside L, a uh, sub lattice uh, uh, embedded inside L, which is uh, similar to M3, that structure, uh, you have to remember that structure embedded inside L should be a sub lattice in its own right. Not any structure will do, but uh, that embedded structure which we are looking for, that embedded structure should be a sub lattice. So, if, if when you draw the hash diagram for L and if you find a sub lattice uh, inside L which resembles uh, N5 or it resembles N M3, if you find a sub lattice embedded inside it, which resembles this one or this one, which means that the pentagon lattice or the diamond lattice, then L will be non-distributed. So, that is the result and the result is if and only if, which means that uh, if L is non-distributive, uh, 
the structure will be there, the embedded uh, lat sub lattice will be there, isomorphic to N5 or N3. Or if uh, a, a sub lattice uh, uh, just uh, isomorphic to uh, N5 or N3 is there, then L will be non distributed. So, both the ways the result is true. Uh, sometimes in some books, uh, this particular line which we are writing that L has a sub lattice isomorphic to N5, this is expressed uh, by writing something like this which means that L has a sub lattice isomorphic to N5. So, uh, so as far as this particular line is concerned, it can be written as that uh, L has a sub lattice isomorphic to N5 and this particular line can be written as that L has a, uh, L has a sub lattice uh, isomorphic to uh, M3. So, sometimes in some books such a notation is used. Now, uh, uh, the M3 and 5 theorem, the statement of M3 and 5 uh, theorem is this, but it can be restated uh, in terms of uh, modular and uh, distributive. Uh, and uh, uh, we can tell. And one thing you have to remember about uh, N5 and uh, uh, in M3 uh, that uh, you have to remember that N5 and M3 uh, both are uh, 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 non-distributive lattices. Uh, the, the pentagon lattice and the diamond lattice is a non-distributive lattice and uh, as far as the uh, N5 or the pentagon lattice is concerned uh, then it is uh, non-modular uh, but uh, M3 is modular. So, uh, this uh, has been discussed already in uh, the uh, videos uh, which I have made earlier. So, now um, so, so that is why actually the uh, result comes that uh, if N5 uh, is actually a part, uh, if N5 is a part of some sublattice cell, because N5 is uh, uh, non-modular and because N5 is uh, uh, non-distributive, so the presence of N5 inside L uh, as a sublattice would make the lattice L to be non-modular and it would make the lattice to be non-distributive. So, if you find that L is uh, in the lattice L, there is a sub lattice which is uh, embedded which is just looking similar to uh, N5, then uh, obviously L has to be non-modular and non-distributive because N5 itself is non-modular and non-distributive. And uh, if you find that in the lattice L, there is an embedded sub lattice uh, whose structure is similar to that of M3 then because M3 it's, itself is a non-distributive lattice so that would make L also non-distributive uh, okay so that is the that is the result which I uh, wanted to mention over here and now uh, as I said the M3 and 5 theorem can be uh, restated in terms of uh, modular and distributive because the result is if and only if so, you can restate the result in terms of modular uh, and a distributive lattice. So, L uh, lattice L will be modular if you cannot find, if you cannot find any sub lattice isomorphic to N5 inside L. If L does not have any sub lattice isomorphic to N5 inside L and this result is if and only which means that if the lattice is modular, this condition will happen and if this condition happens, then the lattice is modular. Both the ways the result is true again. Uh, the lattice L is uh, distributive. If uh, there is no structure inside L uh, or there is no sub lattice uh, rather inside L which is isomorphic to N5 and there is no sub lattice inside L which is isomorphic to N3. Both these conditions should happen. This, this, is, the, this is in a way opposite to this. The opposite of this particular statement is this. So, uh, if uh, L uh, is distributive then L will not have any sub lattice isomorphic to N5, it will not have any sub lattice isomorphic to M3 and if uh, L doesn't have a sub lattice isomorphic to N5 and if L doesn't have a sub lattice isomorphic to N3, in that case it will be distributed. So, both the ways the result is true. Now, a few examples in this regard. Uh, let me just consider the uh, lattice L. Uh, here the lattice L, uh, you can just see, uh, this is the lattice L, the structure of the lattice L is uh, this pair, uh, the circles uh, which I have made, uh, they represent the vertices but the shaded ones, the, the shaded ones, this one, uh, this one, this, this and this, these are the five shaded vertices. If you just see that these shaded uh, vertices uh, form a structure, uh, these shaded vertices means uh, if you take S to be equal to x, y, uh, z, u and b, then this uh, s is a subset of L and this s is a sub lattice of L. 
uh, and uh, because if you take join and meet of any two elements then the join of uh, meet of any two elements is in s only and this uh, structure s is uh, isomorphic to this this lattice l is isomorphic to it's isomorphic to uh, m n5 which is the pentagon lattice and uh, because n5 itself is uh, non modular and it is non uh, distributive so the presence of uh, n5 uh, inside a lattice l makes the lattice l to be non modular and it is non distributive so the lattice l it's non uh, modular it is non distributive by n3 n5 theorem then uh, coming to the second example in the second example uh, this is the lattice having uh, uh, elements uh, 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 these these are the circles which are the, the these are the elements uh, or the vertices of the lattice cell and here uh, one is the uh, element the topmost element zero is the bottommost element and x y z are the uh, elements which i am the other elements and these uh, elements which have not been given any names they are also there in l but uh, i am just interested in considering a sub lattice uh, the sub lattice s of l which consists of the zero which consists of one which consists of x which consists of y which consists of z and this is very much a subset of uh, l and uh, this is also a sub lattice of l again uh, for the same reason that if you take joins and meets of any two elements over here then they will be inside s only so uh, now as far as s is concerned you can just have a look at s that again s is uh, isomorphic to n5 it's just uh, it is just a structure inside uh, L uh, which is uh, similar to N5 which means uh, that by N3, M3 N5 theorem that uh, L is non-modular and uh, L is uh, non-distributive just because N5 is itself is non-modular and non-distributive. Now one important uh, thing uh, which I want to mention over here is that uh, if instead of uh, S, uh, if you take a set, uh, let's say S1, uh, which is a subset of l to be instead of uh, taking uh, z uh, let me uh, say that i drop z and i consider this one let me call it as a i i consider this a and i consider the set s1 to be 0 1 x y uh, and uh, let's say a i don't consider z and now if you this of course is a subset of l but uh, you can see that uh, it's not a sub lattice of l because if you take the uh, the, the the meet of uh, the sorry the join of x and a then the join of x and a the join of x and a will be this particular element and the join of x and a this doesn't uh, belong to s1 so you cannot take uh, s1 although uh, the structure s1 the structure s1 also resembles uh, uh, in five only because there are five uh, this one one two three four five so it uh, so if you take uh, a uh, which means that if i take the set s1 then uh, that s1 also resembles n5 because uh, there are five vertices five edges and you're not considering this particular element in the middle so uh, but uh, uh, here this is not a sub lattice so you have to take that particular structure embedded in the lattice l uh, which uh, itself uh, is a uh, sub lattice so here uh, you uh, the s which i have taken so uh, that is a sub lattice so you can't uh, consider a actually so you have to consider uh, z as an element so that this basically sub lattice s will work you can't uh, give the argument uh, with the 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 argument of non uh, the l being non modular uh, this uh, that l is non modular l is non distributive this argument cannot be given by taking uh, our sub lattice as s1 this is what i'm trying to say uh, if you have to show that L is uh, non-modular, if L is non-distributive, then you have to show the uh, existence of a sub-lattice uh, which is isomorphic to N5 and this is the sub-lattice which is isomorphic to S N5, not this one. Now uh, coming to the second, ex the third example. Uh, Now coming to the third example now in the third example uh, in the third example this particular uh, lattice l uh, is uh, uh, m3 uh, uh, itself this this is the lattice m3 itself you can see it's the lattice m3 so uh, and uh, m3 uh, because uh, m3 is contained in itself so m3 is a sub lattice of itself and whenever m3 is uh, contained in any this is the lattice l 
so the the lattice under consideration is l which is m3 and whenever m3 is a part of any lattice cell because m3 is uh, non distributive so that uh, makes the lattice l as non distributive so because m3 is a part of itself and uh, the presence of m3 inside a lattice cell makes the lattice cell uh, non distributive so uh, because m3 is non distributive so m3 is non distributive and here uh, uh, m3 is modular because uh, uh, there uh, is uh, no structure no sub lattice uh, inside uh, m3 uh, which is uh, similar to n5 there is no sub lattice embedded inside uh, uh, m3 which is isomorphic to n5 so n5 you can't find the n5 inside it because n5 is uh, uh, something uh, which uh, resembles this it should have uh, five vertices and uh, it should have five edges but there is no structure like this you can't find a structure like this so n5 is not embedded which means uh, because n5 uh, itself, uh, itself is a non modular uh, lattice and it's not embedded uh, in l this means that l is modular because n5 is not inside it and now coming to the last example the last example is a example of a chain of uh, four elements this is a chain of four elements and you can see that n5 is uh, not a part of it m3 is uh, not a part of it which means uh, and whenever n5 and m3 uh, are a part of uh, any uh, lattice uh, then that makes the lattice non modular and uh, non distributive but, but because uh, these are not a part of the chain this means that the chain is uh, uh, modular and it is distributive so that is the argument uh, for a, for chain of uh, any length this is a chain of uh, uh, four elements but for uh, a chain of any number of elements you have to give the same argument that uh, because n5 uh, uh, a chain any uh, any chain if you take then in any chain uh, there is no uh, sub lattice uh, which is uh, embedded inside a chain which is isomorphic to n5 uh, and uh, there is no uh, sub lattice inside a chain which is isomorphic to m3 since uh, uh, not, since none of these condition happens uh, because there is no uh, sub lattice isomorphic to n5 there is no sub lattice isomorphic to m3 inside the chain inside any chain chain of chain having any number of vertices so every chain is modular and every chain is distributed so that is the end of uh, the video lecture uh, and that is the end of whatever i wanted to discuss in this video lecture